Hello and welcome back to Stop and Give Me 10. So today I'm going to kick off my shoes and we are just going to do kind of like a stretch and flow class. So there'll be some exercises, um, but more with just like a flexibility, uh, range of motion type of exercise. So a little bit easier, a little slower pace, still going to get a little, you know, you're going to feel your heart rate and you're going to feel some of the exercises, but more of in a flowy manner. So let's just start with some very large arm circles. We're going to do 30 seconds forward and 30 seconds backward. So you, for me to keep my pace slow, you'll notice that I'm going to talk slower because faster I talk, the faster I tend to pick up the tempo. So I'm going to try to keep it nice and slow and controlled. Let's take it back. And so again, I'm barefoot. It just feels comfortable for me in this type of a class. But if you want your shoes on, of course, um, now you notice I had sandals on. Now, I don't ever recommend working out with sandals or open-toed shoes. They should be closed-toed shoes. Good for a workout that keeps your ankles stable, should be safe. I've seen too many people get hurt wearing Crocs or other forms of sandals. So we're just gonna take it over. This is our modified jack at a very slow pace. So when you're here in this position, think of that arm shooting straight up. So it should be a straight line from that arm down to the leg. Good. I really want you to feel that stretch all along the side. Good. Again, nice and slow. Bringing it out. Bringing it out. So opening up those shoulder blades. So when you're here, you should feel that shoulder blade open. Open. Keeping that neck nice and neutral and nice and relaxed. My leg again just kicking out to the side. Good. Going down into like a nice deep squat. So this is our plie squat. So bringing it down nice and low and up. And we're breathing in and out. It should just come naturally for you. Breathing it in and out. Arms come up and crossing, crossing below. Again, nice and slow and controlled. Big circles with the leg. We're gonna stay here for 30 and then we'll switch. So I'm just making like big circle. I'm pretending I have something on the floor and I'm trying to bring my leg over it. So we're going out now. So my leg is going out. This is another one that people seem to get confused and they do exactly the opposite. Now we're gonna bring it in. So when I bring it in, same thing. You're just swinging it around. Now, if you need something for balance, please do so. Go grab that. Again, in. So it's catching that inner thigh, but again, nice and slow. Nice and controlled, lifting that leg if you can. Get it nice and high. Feel that on the inside. And now switch. So out, working the outer first, taking it away from the body. Abduction. Good. Bring it away. Nice and big. Good. Bring your arm. Maybe you want to take your arm with you. Maybe you want to just hold them to the side. Good. And now bringing it in. So in and in. For some reason, this one always feels really weird to me. Hopefully it does to you too. But, you know, it's okay to laugh at yourself. Good. And bring it in. Good. Now 
here and we're meeting at the top. So remember when we do our giant arm circles with our weights? So same thing. So if I have my palms in, all right, so my palms are in here and we meet back at the top, palms in. Up and we're down. And we're up and down. Good. Just kind of work in that shoulder in a different way. Coming down into like a chair, seated chair squat. So we're down and we're holding. And we're holding. Bring it up. Come down and hold. And bring it up. Down and hold. And bring it up. Now when you're down here in this closed little squat position, you should look down and see those toes. Ah, let's get one more in there. That felt good. Awesome. Shoulder shrugs, rolling our shoulders back and back. Release that neck. So, a lot of the times I'll say when you start with an exercise, and I'll go forward and I'll say, roll your shoulders back into those pockets. This is the motion. So now we're rolling our shoulders forward. And taking it and tap, and tap, and tap. So when you're tapping, I want you to point. Point the toe. Work that anterior tibialis. Point the toe. Point the toe. Good. And just rotating side to side. Just makes it a little bit different. We're down to our last three minutes. Regular squat, we're going to tap on the inside of our feet. So you're coming low enough, you're tapping on the inside. Normally I'll say touch the knees to the elbows. Tap, just giving you something different to focus on. And tap. And tap. Good. Tap. Almost there revving the motorcycle. So, working that forearm, working that wrist. Rev the motorcycle. Good. It's funny because I tend to talk quieter too when I'm <laughs> doing this form of exercise. Anything to calm me down. I'm usually oh, loud and obnoxious. Oh, it's just my nature. So, it takes a lot for me to calm down and, and, and be quiet. All right, taking it and twisting side to side, working the uh, obliques, just taking it side to side, and your head kind of follows with you. Stretch and reach and stretch and reach. down and bringing it back so maybe your hands are here maybe they're here but I want you to focus on holding maybe they're here so see how you just that wrecker spinet is that small muscle that runs down your spine you just need to catch it just a little bit hold for it to work. All right, chin to the chest. So chin to the chest. You should feel it all release down the back of the neck. And then looking up at me. Down. Up at me. Down. Up at me. And then rotate side to side. Never taking the neck all the way around. Side to side, keep going. Side to side, we're in our last few seconds together. Back chin to chest. Ah, deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. I hope you found this invigorating in a different way. Hopefully you found it nice 
and relax, and guess what? You're still moving for 10 minutes. Awesome, thank you so much. See you again tomorrow.